M0 FXP, we're out in the garden. 49 to 1 ballon, a rusty bit of wire. 66 foot long. Just, you can't see it, but it's stretched across just where those bushes are. Tinkering with the Guo Tech PMR 171. Now remember, this is Shaq in the box. So this is HF, VHF, UHF, uh, built in tuner. Now normally in this configuration, you'd have it in a backpack. Um, and then you'd be looking down and you've got your two meters, 70 centimeters antenna here, right from 74 megs. If you go for the GPS model DMR, you could get that, but I haven't, it costs a lot more, but I recommend that if you want that, get it first, because it's very hard to add those modules. Um, otherwise, battery pack there on the back. Now the battery pack actually disconnects and can still power this device uh, with a cable. Um, but I'm just doing it this way for now. Of course, I could lay it flat like a base station. It doesn't come with a. It doesn't come with a stand, which is a shame because it needs one. You know, it'd be quite easy to make one, but I'm sure there's loads on 3D print. So it's not too busy on the, at the moment. It could be the antenna. Uh, but let's just call anyway. And now the nice thing is we actually have a built-in, trying to get out the, the reflection here, antenna tuner. So if you press and hold, we can actually test the SWR by turning. Let's get this right. I'm just holding it to the meter, press. Sorry, that was a GPS module that we don't have. <laughs> there it is there. And if we move away from the frequency, like so move to the start just by turning this knob it tests our antenna so i think it's pretty good looks okay press and hold the menu to come out loads of functions here there's dmr one model had ethernet aprs that you need the gps it's a shame you can't just set your manual location though i have to check for that if you press See what I mean? It says insert GPS module. And just press and hold. Broadcast radio works great. Really good. Remember, these are £400. If you don't go for the flash model, I've got firmware 3.70, which I think is the latest one. Um, so let's just back out completely. Go back to that station. Oh, there's a strong one there, look. Look at that. Thanks for the activation, Let's try now the power. If we go to PA, it's up it to 20. Although I don't know if it'll do that on the battery. Just press and hold. Wrong button. There you go. We will try now the lock the microphone controls the whole radio. Look at that, and it's a, uh, this one has a round pin. Many of them have the the square pin. So tell me the difference. And you've got the on the front here. You've got this TNC. You need an adapter for that to get it to BNC. Uh, but it's very good quality connection. GPS, and then here underneath here is um, an SO239. So we'll give it a minute and see if we can get into this. Get a gap in here. weaker now that was strong wasn't it noise reduction is here you can see it there I think you can press and hold and you can change the actual waterfall now remember when you're not buying a Yesu when you buy this you always got to bear that in mind you know if it's 400 quid it does all the bands Type your frequency here. Split mode means you basically, it's like having a, um, a dual band, a sort of, but it's monitor. So, yes, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening now. Maybe I should turn off the noise blanker.
did you get that, David? The speaker's okay, you know. Got loads of connections on the back for USB, for FTA, all that kind of stuff. Built-in sound card. A and B. And if, let's just say we do want VHF now. We haven't got the VHF antennas selected. You just press band. Turn to the one we want. I want to test yeah, airbound. Yeah, Don't actually well, know if well. airbound works. But look. Uh, no, we did the wrong one. I'm not sure why that's there. So let's just type it in on the microphone. So we just go four, three, four, five, five, and then keep going with the zeros. Once you get to the right amount, press the hash. And then we are, and it could be two meters, you know. So nice and easy to change bands. One of them is called CB. Oops. And let's check the mode. I felt that was the volume. This one's the volume, by the way. You can actually do this with the microphone. So there's CBAM. To change the step, you just see the red line, you're moving right and left. Press the button, and when it goes blue, you're tuning. When it goes red, you can move it over. We can go right over to 26, change it to 27. I haven't tested it on, on CB. There's actually someone, something there, not someone. Um, so of course, needs testing. Digital mode, PSKU, SDR, USB. I mean, will it tune on CB? I'm curious. It did make the tuning sound. It's just on that wire. If you go a bit higher, what was that? We're tuning too far. Anyway, just having fun here in the garden. Thought I'd show you this. You know, I mean, so many mixed reviews on this device, you know. Is it worth it? I think you do have to always take into account the price of what these are. Is it going to win all the awards for having the best harmonics and the best grounding and the best everything? I'd probably not, no. But for £400, are you going to get a radio that will work on VHF, UHF? The HF bands, a built-in tuner, a colour screen with a waterfall, in it, and it is a small screen. Yeah, it's quite rugged looking as well. It's got a nice look to it. You do, it's very pleasing to the eye. Are you going to be happy about your 400? Well, yeah, I think yes. If you, as long as you don't start comparing it to your FT710 or your DX10 or your ICOM 7300, but if you just take it for what it is, ignore all the talk about the bugs. Oh, bugs this, bugs that. I mean, they'll be like small bugs that hardly affect anything and then people will say the whole radio is junk but if it works really well on hf vhf uhf why is it junk junk is something you throw in the bin because it doesn't because it does nothing bye for now